All right, so the official Microsoft PC Manager app is now available in Microsoft Store. If you go to the official website of PC Manager app, uh, you'll see the download link now redirects you to the Microsoft Store. And it also looks like that it is now in stable version. So let's download it and try this out. Uh, before this, I made a couple of videos in this. Uh, software when it was in beta uh, this is my first time trying this out in stable version this should be the best pc cleaner out there the reason being first of all it's made by the microsoft the maker of windows and they know what's best for the windows if it's that good then it's time to say goodbye to third party PC cleaning apps. So here it is. It will always open in right side. You can actually move it around if you want to. I actually don't want it to start automatically. So I'm just going to uncheck that. Start toolbox. Oh, okay. That's a cool thing. Oh, we have boost option. We have screenshot option. We have notepad. We have edge. Okay. That's cool. We can also add more options to it actually like calculator, recorder, uh, screenshot folder. Okay, this toolbox thing is actually useful. So you can see there is no beta or no nothing like that. So it's definitely now in stable version. Now let's click on boost and clean up the PC. Nice, it also decreased the RAM usage. And we can also see the processes running in the background and we can end them like that. Let's do the health check. It will check for issues and stuff like that if you go to the startup here you'll have even more apps to disable now let's do the deep cleaning okay this is even better this is actually good <laughs> so you can see it is doing the system cleanup and it also does the third party apps cleanup too so you can see we have steam which is the most popular app for gamers uh, you probably have it. I'm pretty sure you'll have a bunch of temporary files for that app. Even the Epic Games Launcher is supported. Sadly, I don't see the Google Chrome. Maybe in future, they will add more third-party apps too uh, for cleanup. It's pretty cool. Okay, I like it. I'm just going to proceed. And uh, I think we're done. Okay, this is the cleanup part. Now let's go to the protection. So... Uh, you can also scan for uh, viruses and stuff like that and it actually uses the Microsoft Defender in background so if I click on scan it's gonna scan for the you know viruses and stuff like that and you can see it found nothing because my PC is clean right now <laughs> okay so no thread found cool nice now we can also do the Windows update you can see you can update windows within this app you don't have to go to the uh, settings and windows updates you can see it's downloading the updates within this and also again it's also using the actual windows update in the background so if there is the app which has ads in it and that gives you the pop-up ads it can block those types of ad in apps that is cool i think yeah now let's go to storage I think we did the deep cleaning and all that in home page. Now let's go manage large files. This is useful. Uh, using this, we can find large files on our system and delete them. So you can see I have the largest file here, which is the Windows 11 ISO file. Sometime, you know, we lost the file uh, that is unuseful that we want to uh, uh, delete, but we can't find it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be useful. Now let's go to the apps section. Again, here you can see background processes and all that. If there is something that shouldn't be running, you can end that here. Kind of works like task manager. Now, finally, the toolbox. This is probably one of the useful thing that you can have for quick and easy access for different features like quick boost, take a screenshot just like that. Yeah pretty cool if it can definitely boost your productivity like you know if you take a lot of screenshot there we go uh, you can open notepad just like that i have dual monitor so it goes there <laughs> so it went there so now let's open this one more time yeah see 
really cool and you can open microsoft edge or you know most visited website quickly and you can add more tools to it like the captions i think this is really useful because let's say you want to have a caption when you're watching a video or something like that which doesn't have captions you can enable it really useful actually and i'm hoping that they will add even more features to it pretty simple clean and uh, in my opinion yeah this is the best pc cleaning app out there because it's the safest uh, pc cleaning tool that you can use plus it's made by the microsoft and you know uh, windows is also made by microsoft they know what's best for windows and uh, this app also blends pretty well with windows yeah it looks like a system app and one more thing before i leave you guys in peace i know i said this is the best pc cleaning app but i know some of you guys will say that it's not that good i need even better pc cleaning app which can clean even deeper so for that i recommend you guys to use bleachbit i have always recommended this app this is a free and open source app and this is also probably the best pc cleaning app out there and it can do even deeper pc cleaning it has a bunch of options and it also supports third-party apps uh, like uh, google chrome i think that's the only app that i have it supports but it does clean up the system even deeper like you have a bunch of options i don't recommend you guys to use the deep cleaning option but if needed you can it has the option so yeah that's that this is only for those people who want extra cleaning all right but overall uh, pc manager app is the best because it's the safest tool and uh, i'm tired of saying this again and again microsoft knows what's best for the windows so yeah that's it for this one <laughs> hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.